Today we're going to be watching the Battlefield 2042 reveal trailer. I have avoided, I'd say like 90% of the content that's out there about it. I know a few details, but I'm not going to talk about it till we're done. So we're going to watch the trailer, I'm going to react to it, and then of course we will discuss if there's anything that needs to be discussed. This trailer is five minutes long. Let's get it started. Let's see what this is all about. Ah. Game engine footage though. They seem awfully calm. Shit. Flying squirrels. Oh, shit. Well, that's the end of that. Riley 2.0. Looks good. I would expect nothing less. Shit. Okay, well that's where you're messed up right there. Don't go in the Oh god. That was fucking brutal. If this is how the game really looks. It feels next gen. Can I fly the rocket though? Stop shooting. You're fucked. Rooftop campers, get them. I do love the song, too. Come on, man. Okay, that's not new, though. <laughs> this map looks like... It's not Shanghai. It'd be a four map. Four coming down. Does this mean weather? Like dynamic weather? I guess they already had that with the hurricanes, right? <laughs> Shit. Forward. Fuck that guy, I guess. Ah, 
Like, wouldn't you immediately be hit on the head by, like, some debris and just get knock yourself out? Gameplay reveal June 13th. That's, like, in four days, right? Okay. Set to release in the fall of this year. Wow. There you have it. Uh, I don't think it's technically gameplay footage Targaryen at the beginning. It said it was game engine. Tornadoes that can kill you. Isn't that all of them? How many people are going to be playing Battlefield? So yeah, that is something new that I know. There's a few things about the game that I already know uh, in advance. 120 person lobbies. They're basically doubling the size of the games. Also, no campaign and no battle royale. I don't know how I feel because... I want to say, you know, fuck them for not putting in the campaign or the battle royale because why are you, why not, <laughs> right? Like, it's just more content. But, like, on the other hand, with the campaign, when was the last time you played a good Battlefield campaign? You know, I didn't play much of 5. 1 was just okay. I only played the campaign for 1 for the trophies. Battlefield 3 and 4's campaigns were just stupid. So, I don't know. We'll see. I also need to upgrade my PC, I think, if we're going to play that. I didn't see anything that's going to turn me off. But when it comes to Battlefield, you already know it's going to be pretty. You already know the sound's going to be ridiculous. And the multiplayer is going to be chaotic. And that's all we saw. My biggest concerns with Battlefield has always been around how the game runs. The hit detection, the balance... The maps, the guns. So hopefully we'll get more information about all of that next week. I think it said the 14th, Monday. I mean, nothing that... I'll just turn the music back on. Nothing that really says, no, I'm not getting it. But nothing that really has me thinking, holy shit, this is going to be awesome. And let's just, just wait and see. Also, they need to stick with the same DLC model as they have in the fifth one. And that way the, the player base doesn't get split up over the haves and the haves, have nots. But Battlefield 5 was such a piece of doo-doo. Um, I think it's hard not to get excited for the new one. I mean, like the, the Battlefield community is ready, I think. Like we need something good. Can't keep playing Battlefield 4. That game is almost 10 years old now.